Hi everyone, this is Brenda from My Paper Crafting Life, and I'm here today to show you the Harvest Blessing stamp set and a quick and easy card that we can create with it. Now, something fun I'm going to do is create a background with our Limeade and Glacier ink. You can see me sponging the Limeade ink on the bottom of the three and a half by four and three quarter cardstock. In between colors, I'm going to wipe the table off so that I don't mix any of that ink together. So we've got a little bit of Limeade on the bottom like grass and Glacier on the top. We've left a little white in the middle to look like daylight. I've grabbed my Ranger Archival Vintage Photo Ink, which is really nice when you want a brown outline on your images. And I'm stamping this beautiful cattail stamp right on the card. Little bit of Vintage Photo on the foam and we can wipe that right off. Now I'll fill in the blanks with the wheat stamp and that looks really cute the archival has done a great job now what i'm doing here is just an extra little step and that's putting a line for my sentiment if i had my misty out i could line it up with my misty but just drawing a little pencil line that you can erase with your pink rubber eraser helps you keep that sentiment a little bit straighter all right i'm going to be using my colorista colored pencils to color these cattails and wheat. And first I'm grabbing dark timber to do the cattail ends. It's the perfect color for those cattails. Always hold your pencil at a little bit of a slant so that you can get a good color without being too hard or too sharp. I grabbed my oak tree pencil to do the wheat and now it's the nettle green for the leaves. That gives it a really nice look to just go in there with something a little bit darker than the limeade that's in the back and bring that green leaf outward and make it look like it's brand new. So now it's time to put it together. I'm using our close to my heart tape runner, which is now refillable. And I'm mounting that front of the card on Glacier cardstock and then on to acorn, one of our new colors. I'll put that on the card base and grab my bitty sparkles to add a little bit of bling to the card here and there. Those bitty sparkles add just the right amount of sparkle when you want something. Oh, I'm so sorry that I went a little bit off the camera, but you'll be able to see the full card in just a minute with those bitty sparkles.